Brian and Lou backstage, Lollapalooza. Brian, James, Broken Bells, welcome. Thank you. Hello. And how long have uh, you guys known each other? I know you got you collaborate, collaborating for quite some time now. Did it start off as a friendship or a musical collaboration? We, we met 10 years ago at a, at a festival, I it think. It was 10 years ago, yeah. Yeah, and then we started working together in 2008. But we'd see each other on tour before then, so, mm. yeah. Were you admirers of each other's music and work? And that's yeah, how? he came backstage yeah. uh, when we had, or we were about to play, or we had yeah, played. Yeah, you were about to play, yeah. So he came backstage, met us, and we were playing the Grey Album at that time. So yeah, we were mutual fans or yeah. whatever, yeah. And you have great presence. Like when I've, I saw you walking down the street once, coming out of uh, Electric Lady Studios in New York, and I'm like, that's, that's a rock star. That is. <laughs> that is. <laughs> I didn't trip and fall or something right yeah, when you were that thinking that. That would have been a walk rock, right? That would have been if you really knew me, yeah. That's what it would have been. Now, with all your great, you know, the, the work with the Shins and Danger Mouse and everything that uh, you've produced, is there one song that people, when they see you, say, that's your free bird? What's the free bird? Like, what's the song like, I love you for Phantom Limb? Uh, yeah, for... It's new slang. It's yeah, new slang. Definitely yeah, definitely new slang. Yeah. Definitely is. What about any of the stuff that you produce? Like, so, I don't I mean, think the stuff that people have heard know I have anything to do with it. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you guys? How are you able to separate something you come up with for, say, another artist, or you know, maybe for Broken Bells that you're not going to use with the Shins or something like that? How do you? How do you keep it separate? Right. Uh, I don't really. I think each person is really unique with what they're doing. I know it sounds kind of like a stock answer, but I just try to bring something that's actually good enough for them to keep working with me. So. Uh, it could be anything. I'm, you know, there's 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 songs that I or, or ideas I had and went to one person they didn't like, and then went to someone else and it became a, a different kind of song or a bigger song or something. So it, it does happen like that. But you would never have thought that because the people who are, uh, I work with have a, such a unique personality that you couldn't right. think anybody else would do something over it. Is there any one thing either of you have done that you kind of feel like, oh man, I wish I'd used that for this project, or you know, I wish uh, I should have kept that for myself, that that kind of thing. No. Interesting. Yeah. No, no, you're, just, you're happy I, with. I you probably just have I haven't to move thought about on, it. Yeah, I haven't even thought about that. That would be torturous. Yeah. No, I haven't thought about <laughs> you it. Just no. forget about it. Don't even dwell on it. No. Now earlier this year, did something really cool on Letterman. They had a Beatles Week. And you yeah. got to do a Beatles song at the Ed Sullivan Theater. Yeah. Um, and you did the really cool things with the uh, the Ring, uh, Ringo video, too. Uh, just talk oh, about yeah. that experience. That really phenomenal experience. Yeah, it was fun. It was cool. It was strange playing with Ringo Starr in yeah. digital form. <laughs> yeah, with the, with the, yeah in, in television form. It was just an idea where we, that we, we came up with because you know it was Beatles week, and then I, we realized. I think, I think, I, I think I finally realized that they didn't want us with all these other big guys because they thought Broken Bells was so cool. I think they were like, do some Grey Album thing, do some remix thing. Yeah. So we decided <laughs> to just do something different, and that kind of worked with the two of us, um, just in that way. So. Uh, that was our first time actually doing it. We hadn't really rehearsed it. I just oh, told wow. James, I was like, do you want to run on guitar? And the drum beat will be there and just play along with it. And I got some keyboard thing I'll do. And then it just worked out. Is that how some of the uh, the sessions are? You improvise where you're like, all right, I have some ideas. Nope. You bring some ideas. Nope, no. Nope. Nothing like that. Well, no, not yeah. like in any performance way. That was the first yeah. time we really performed it oh, like, in that way. Right. But yeah. But uh, no, we usually, we come, we, if we have ideas when we're recording, um, they'll just come out if, if they, if they, uh, if they happen to be something that will work with it, what the other person's doing, but mm. yeah. James O'Brien of Broken Bells here for Lollapalooza. New records, phenomenal. Uh, touring, rest of the, uh, the year. Plans for the rest of the year for the tour? We have a, this Mainly is touring. about a 12 day tour and we're gonna do another one of these and. Um, All the way to October, I think, we're gonna be yeah. basically touring, yeah, until then. And then uh, spend some time in Hawaii? Mm -hmm. Probably at some point, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That doesn't suck. No, it doesn't <laughs> suck. <laughs> James and Brian, Broken Bells, Backstage Lollapalooza, thank you so much for taking some time. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. guys.